Don't kill me, my friend. I'm still fully charged. <laughs> Hi YouTubers, lots of fun at the beginning, yeah? <laughs> Today I'm going to take apart this battery, which I took from my old Lenovo tablet. The nominal voltage is 3.8 volts. The maximum charging voltage is 4.35 volts. And the capacity is 4200 milliamp hours. And it's rechargeable lithium polymer battery. As you can see, the battery is still charged. Yeah, so first of all, I have to discharge it. And I'm going to do that via this 10 ohms resistor. Here's the calculation what current I can expect during discharging and it is 0 0.38 amps which is good and this is my discharging setup yeah a multimeter on the left side uh, is showing discharging current and a multimeter on the right side uh, is showing the voltage of the battery after some discharging, the voltage uh, dropped uh, immediately to zero. It means that it must be some protective circuitry inside. And some circuitry is really there, yeah? take a look at it and here are battery terminals so let's take it apart So the circuitry is uh, exposed and now I'm going to measure voltage directly on terminals. Yeah, it's still charged. So I'm going to continue discharging the battery with my discharging setup. The battery is all right, still cold. During the discharging, I always check the battery. Yeah, but the battery is not even warm. Yeah. And like this, it's going to continue for several hours, yeah. And after several hours, the voltage is 0 0.24 volts. I feel terrible, my friend. I'm so discharged. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's remove the circuitry from the battery now to take a look at it closer. Yeah, here is the circuitry in detail. The circuitry protects the battery against uh, overcharging and over discharging, of course, and the circuitry also checks the temperature. Yeah, because you don't want to overheat the battery. Before taking apart the battery completely, I decided for the last experiment yeah, with the battery. I put it in the salt water yeah, and you can see a 
chemical reaction there I mean those bubbles in the water I went on holiday for four weeks and when I returned back yeah I found this on my balcony yeah so let's have a look inside battery is still alright but take a look at uh, one of the terminals it's completely dissolved yeah if you want to discharge your batteries this way yeah it just dissolves terminals it's not very effective way how to discharge batteries let's quickly repeat the main principles of batteries so every battery has an anode and also has a cathode in the middle there is a separator and inside the separator there is electrolyte if you connect the anode with the cathode electrons starts flowing and there is also a second flow of positive ions from the anode to the cathode these three layers are usually put together these ways the first one which you can find in button cells batteries the second one you can find in double A or triple A batteries and the third one you can find in modern lithium ion batteries or lithium polymer batteries which is also our case lithium polymer batteries belong to a lithium ion family of batteries but lithium polymer batteries uh, use solid electrolyte instead of uh, liquid and here you can see those three layers I mentioned before yeah so they are winded inside the battery if you are interested how much energy you can store in lithium ion batteries yeah here is a chart yeah and rechargeable lithium ion batteries are in yellow and disposable lithium ion batteries are in green yeah so as you can see lithium ion batteries uh, lead nowadays and this sticky tape is the last thing I have to remove to get into the battery I have to take some protective gloves because the first impression is from this battery that it smells horribly yeah it's such a ugly chemical smell yeah you don't want to breathe it all day and look these three layers this one is probably anode and this one is cathode and on the opposite side there is a separator and in, inside it it should be some electrolyte okay guys uh, that's it for today yeah our third battery is destroyed <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time